Hello everybody, my name is Joey Verhoeven and I am a cinematographer. I will show you how to set up the Nebula 5000. Um, the first step would be putting the Nebula 5000 on its back and then tweaking, adjusting the center of gravity for your camera. You will have to adjust the center of gravity of the base plate. You can adjust it by unscrewing these screws here and finding the correct height for it. So the smaller your DSLR camera, the higher your base plate should be. For bigger DSLR cameras like the 5D, 5D3 or even like the BMCC, you um, adjust the base plate to a lower position. After finding the right balance of the center of gravity on your base plate, you can lock the camera on, the, on your base plate. Here again, you can adjust it to find the right balance. So you can adjust it forwards or backwards. You know it that it's balanced when the camera stays in its place and it's in the right position without leaning forwards or backwards. When it's out of balance, it will lean towards one position. For, us, for example, right now, it's too heavy on the back, so I need to adjust it and make, put the camera a little forward. This will take some tweaking. You can tell that you have balanced your camera correctly when you put it into a different position and it stays in its place. Like this. Or like that. The third step is finding the correct left-right balance of the nebula. You know when it's balanced if it stays in, its, in a center position without leaning to left or right. If you find it's out of balance, you can adjust the screws on the back side of the nebula. You see, when it stays in its position, you have found the correct left-right balance for the nebula. If you put it down, it will come back to its original position. This is how you will know that the nebula is in balance. Step four is installing the battery of the Nebula. <clears throat> Make sure the cable is pointing downwards, that the battery is attached and then connect the cable. 
The Nebula comes with a strap that you attach to the battery. And this way you can attach the cable to the body so it won't be in your way. To turn on the nebula, make sure you put the base plate of the camera on the ground and that the water bubble is in the center so you know it's leveled. Now you can turn on the nebula. The power button is on its back side. Wait for six to eight seconds and make sure not to touch the nebula. Then the handle will start moving out of itself. Okay, now it's moving so you know it's ready. Now you're ready to pick up the nebula. When I make small movements, you will notice that the camera stays in a center position. But when I make big movements, the camera will follow. This way, I have still control over the camera and over the angle that I want to use. The camera will stay in its place. With the pitch, if I stay within 6 degrees, the camera won't move. But if I cross it, the camera will move, will follow the movements that I make. This allows me to have certain control over the camera angles that I want to use. The same thing happens when I do the panning. If I stay within 12 degrees, the camera will stay in the middle. But when I cross 12 degrees, the camera will follow my movements. As you can tell, Without having a second operator, I still have certain control over the camera angles that I want to use. I can go down, up, left or right. Just by moving the nebula. This way I have more control over camera angles without using an extra operator. So even though in follow mode, I have certain control over the camera angles. The camera will always stay in a horizontal position. It will always be leveled horizontally. The Nebula 5000 comes with a remote control. With this remote control, you can control the camera movements. You can go left, right, up, and down. You can even adjust the horizontal sides of the camera. So you can get some really nice Dutch angles. Lastly, on the side of your remote control, there's a switch. When you go up, the nebula is in lock mode. So even if I go left or right, the camera will stay in a center position. 
when I go down, I'm in the follow mode. So when I pan and I cross 12 degrees, the camera will make movements with me. These sliders on the remote allow you to calibrate the center point of the nebula. In normal positions you always will keep it in the center. If you put it to the right you will see that the balance, the center point of the nebula turns to the left. The opposite happens when I turn it the other side. The same applies for the horizontal axis. The slider on the left can adjust small balance changes. Left and right. These two sliders here allow me to calibrate forward and backward balances. This way the camera goes a little to the back and this way a little to the front. But in normal situations I would suggest that you keep it in the center. The nebula is designed to attach different kinds of accessories. On the upper side, there are many different quarter inch screw holes. So I could put my monitor on the left side, I could put it on the handle here, but I could also put it on the right side. For bigger size cameras like the BMCC here, you need to adjust the base plate and put it down and one to the front so you can make sure that the size of the camera fits on the base plate of the nebula. As you can see, the Blackmagic Cinema camera can be balanced like this. So I turn on the nebula on the back, I make sure I don't touch it for 6 to 8 seconds before the upper handle here will start moving out of itself. Now I know it's ready to be picked up like this and I can use it as any other camera.